Hello, everybody. Good morning. Happy snow day. <laughs> oh, yes, you guys snowed. It's oh. always a happy snow day when you don't have to go out and shovel, but I have to go dig out my car and then shovel. <laughs> I am jealous. I will make it. You have all of it. I will mail it to you. <laughs> Well, you know what they say, when you don't have something, that's when you want it the most. Yes. So if you have multiple I inches know. of it, you don't want it at all. I want snow, you want sunshine. And beach weather. <laughs> and beach weather. Well, all year round. <laughs> you can miss you. it anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is a good morning regardless. And I'm glad to that, that I can start my day with you guys here live on Thursdays. We've got a good one today too, Millie. I think yes. you're excited. <laughs> yes, we're talking about partnering with businesses to do events. Yeah, businesses, customers, just partnering up with other teammates. The, I think that it's kind of nice this time of year because we, we start to think about other people you know the holidays are about giving and helping other people getting connected spending time with loved ones and um you know just i feel like this time of year people have the tendency to want to be more of a community so mm -hmm. i think that this message was great and we, it's something we can actually carry into the new year because mm -hmm. now that um once you're in that mode and you get the ball rolling it's something that could carry you forward for a long time so millie i know you are the queen of partner with businesses do you want to kick us off with that well, you know how much I love businesses because <laughs> I am a shy person. So I don't take no's very well. <laughs> I don't like rejections. What can I say? No. <laughs> can I, roll off? I mean, it, it hurts my feelings. How can you say no to me? <laughs> how can you say no to that face? <laughs> I love that you, I appreciate you sharing that though, because a lot of representatives, whether you're new or been in the business for a while, it, you know, sometimes no's are a hard thing to overcome. So you sharing with us that that is something that you still struggle with. It's like, yeah. okay, me too. <laughs> Nobody gets this overnight. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it, and it happens so, I, I don't care how many years I've been in the business. <laughs> When I get a no, I think that 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 is the end of my day. Literally, <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> this start I'll, over. Give up. I'll give up after the next store. <laughs> I want to give up. I'll give up after the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what I love about businesses is that they look at you. Look, you made me. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing too hard. <laughs> Um, what I love, let me get it together. <laughs> Stop it. Not on this live stream. So sorry. <laughs> so, um, you know, they look at you as a customer and they don't want to lose you as a customer. So even if their, their policy is to not allow you to partner with them to do events, they will tell it to you gracefully and nicely and, you know, maybe you can't do an event, but you can drop off books, but they will never tell you no. <laughs> they work to keep your, your customer, keep you as a customer. So they try to, you know, be respectful. Accommodate you, exactly. Right. So I love my local businesses because I can just walk in there and talk to them about setting up a table. Mm -hmm. Maybe not even setting up a table, just standing in front of their store uh, hand out uh, brochures or business cards or bombitas, sample packs, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you have. Uh, it's a way to network. Um, I know that there's a lot of areas that are still not open 100 percent. Right. But let me tell you, um, here we do have um, all of the restaurants are open. You, you just have to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're wearing your mask, if you're um, being, you know, keeping the distance, you're able to go and network and reach out to people. Um, I think that everybody's getting back to to what we used to be. Not, <laughs> Not in the cities. 
know. But, but it's okay. We're, we're going to share tips for that as well because I'm actually in the city. Yeah. We're probably looking towards another lockdown soon. So don't worry. We've got you covered. <laughs> and I also want to share that you could um, ask for both. At the time are you asking for events, you can ask for indoor or outdoor event at that location because when you're snowed out like Georgiana <laughs> or it's raining like today, you know, you don't want to lose your day. And if you already have planned out to do an event, you can always set up indoors as well if that is an option. So my recommendation is that once you, um, you know, are asking to partner with them to do an event, that um, you also ask them if you can set up um, outdoors or inside if the weather is not is not good. But you don't have to you don't have to talk about the weather. You can say, "Can I set up inside or outside or both?" Um, and and let them know that you uh, partner with the local businesses so that you could reach out to our customers, offer them uh, free giveaways. And um, also by um, you know advertising your business and and um, advertising theirs at the same time. Yeah. So um, and I usually I'm sorry that, that I'm going like, <laughs> but uh, I like <laughs> I like to I like to set up when I set up I like to set up with a small table, very small table. That's all you need. Um, and um, my most needed things are either the sample packs are the most important things because that's a free gift that you're giving someone or like I call them bombitas or, or um, you know, if you, if you don't have those made your business card, you don't even have to have samples. If you don't have samples, you don't, I mean, I recommend samples. I recommend you putting together your bombitas, your sample packs. But if you don't have any of these things, just get out there and do your event. I love it. A business card and <laughs> yeah. a sample. And I have my, I keep mine here. <laughs> See, I love that you can put them in any size. So I also have. I have like the minis on the go, quick and easy, and then I have the bigger ones for my events, the larger samples or the fatter ones, the ones with the like the glass vial. So use what you have, basically. Yes, exactly. I, I don't want you to think that you have to, um, you know, prepare these. Or if you don't have any because you didn't have time, that's happened right. to me before. That um, you know that you just go with whatever you have. Um, I want to show you what I take. I, I actually have two of these. I, I shared in one of our team meetings yesterday. I have two of these. This is a cosmetic bag. And then I have um, to get names and numbers. This is like a post-it note. Mm -hmm. Well, you can oh, have. Cute. Yes, I love it. You can have anything, just about anything um, that you can get names and numbers. And then the little pen here. And I love that. Me too, because you know when you're out and about, and um, you had the opportunity to get a name, a number, an email address, and you're not prepared. Um, so I have my business cards here, mm -hmm. and I actually put these. Like when I go to the beach, I put it in my beach bag. When I go, yes, believe it or not, you know what happens? Like at the beach. People have actually stopped and talked to us. For any Everywhere. Reason. My family always yells at me because they're like, we're on vacation. I'm like, this is my aim on time. <laughs> so I'm like, since we're already here. But you know what? I don't tell them that Carlos is actually the one that says, um, <laughs> my wife sells Avon. Uh, give, give one of your, your business cards. So then I open it up and... I and it's the perfect that. timing because usually I find when you're living your life, <laughs> if you incorporate the products into your life properly, you know, when you're at the beach, what are you using for sunblock? 
your bug guard. Mm -hmm. When you're at the park, what are you using for a bug repellent? Your bug guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're, you know, when you're in the supermarket now in this season, we're using hand sanitizers, mine is from Avon. So if you incorporate your products into your life, when you're out and about and talking to people, sometimes they'll come up and ask you. And I, like, I wear my Avon hat when I'm out. Um, I just got my Avon beanie for the breast cancer awareness walk. So I'm excited about that. But you wear your gear, people will come up and, yeah. and ask you. You just need to be prepared. And you imagine if you're not prepared? <laughs> well, okay, at the very least, if you have a cell phone, you are prepared. But yeah. what I like to do is, and I've done this in events too, because sometimes we're just so overwhelmed. You know, in the city, sometimes there are a lot of people. So sometimes I've done events where we didn't have enough clipboards for the people who were coming. So I would just put a little sign up on my table, um, just a little like half inch, not half inch, um, half page um, sign. And I would have my website and a link where they can go online and do my Google form, which I shared with you guys a while back. So even if you don't have any physical documentation, at least if you set up your, your website, make sure you know the link to your website so you can text it out, Your uh, maybe a Google form so you could collect contact information from people, or at the very least have some system in your phone where you can write down people's contact information, whether it's your phone's notepad, um, Evernote, whatever it is. I like, um, I have a bunch of different apps that I use and I can probably look through and find some for you guys, but just create a system for yourself. I like, it. I, I like, I like to use WhatsApp and I, you'd be surprised how many people do have WhatsApp. And that's like the fastest way for me to just send them some kind of information or some kind of picture. Hey, let me send you some information and tell me what you think. Yeah. yeah, once the person has a cell phone number, you can always say, okay, well, what's your number? I'll text you a link to my website or to my giveaway or to my sweepstakes that Avon has. And that way they'll give you their phone number. You just write a message like, hey, Vicky, who's on? Hey, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> you just say like, hey, Vicky, here, uh, it was great meeting you today. Here's that link that I promised you. Now they have their number in your phone, in their phone, and you have their number in your phone. So that's, I, I also, I like the digital so much because then it's just easier to transfer them to my address book and my email database. I don't have to retype any handwritten information. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So there you have it. My take on um, of events, make it simple partner with your local businesses and um, you know just just take the essential and and please make sure that you always prepare because if you're not prepared and that happened that's why I actually made this because you know I usually get out of the door and I have a different purse or I'm carrying another bag and you know and Carlos always says oh you know my wife sells Avon give her give her one give her your information and i'm like <laughs> well actually i left it in the car <laughs> so yes this has actually helped me a lot <laughs> um, yeah i keep a business card case in my phone as well and i i, type, I try to tuck business cards in random places like in my planner i always keep a couple in the front in the little pockets. I always have business cards here just so that I have, um, you know, sometimes you're out and it's nice to have them hidden in places so you can find them when you need them. <laughs> I like that, I love that. But, you know, same thing goes for virtual. You can still partner with businesses virtually even if you're not going out. So I like to partner with A, other representatives, look for people on your team who are doing events who, or who would like to do events, you guys can do them together. I love to partner with my team even if it's in person or online because then you guys, you know, you have more fun with it. You have someone there to help with the posts or help with the comments and the feedback or you know just kind of get together i mean look at what me and malagros are doing here this is a collaboration we're partnering together to share this training with you guys and look at how much fun we have <laughs> we started this as a temporary thing during the initial lockdown and we've had so much fun with it it's continued mm -hmm. so you know look for other people with a similar mindset as you who you like having you know who you enjoy spending time with and put something together it doesn't have to be a weekly live stream it could be something that you decide to do 
um, you know, this month we're going to get together and we're going to have whatever. You invite your guests and your customers and your friends and they invite their guests and their customers and friends and you guys get together for something. Um, it could be specific for a holiday, you know, a holiday get together, Thanksgiving get together, a Mother's Day or a Valentine's Day get together. Or it could just be, you know, we're going to spend the weekend together. This is what we're doing. You, you know, you have a little party, um, maybe three or four days, nothing super long so that people get bored. But mm -hmm. even you know, one day, you can have a one day they get together and you you have different posts that you share and different posts that they share um, and you guys get together and comment and it'll really help build the momentum of your event because there are more people who are active so when there are more people active in an event or a Facebook group or on a page it, you know the Facebook algorithms like that so they'll show the post more so that's good um, okay. whether it's on Facebook or YouTube the internet likes when you bring people to <laughs> whatever page you're on. Plus, you can also partner with um, other businesses. So look for other people, again, who you like, that you want to have time with, spend time with. I like to partner with businesses who don't have the same products that I have so that we're not in competition, um, but that we, we sort of have something like a common goal. So um, for example, wedding planners, you know, in our business, we do makeup, we have hair products, we have skincare products, people who are preparing for their wedding, they wanna, you know, be glowing, they wanna have glowing skin, gorgeous hair, and they're working on their makeup. So you can partner with wedding planners, event planners, um, people who do wedding dresses and bridesmaid dresses. Um, you know, You know, try to think in terms of the overall, your the customer you're trying to reach who is your customer um maybe it's women okay so who are the brands and the companies that are marketing to women how can you partner with or you could say okay for men who are the brands and the customers that are partnering with men the guys you know maybe they're hunters and campers and um you know rugged outdoorsmen you could partner with a company that is selling outdoor gear camping gear um and then you can share the bug guard products with them so Children, who are, you know, who's marketing these children? Milagos has her bug guard ready to go because she's a camper. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> My bug guard gets packed away as soon as summer is over. I use just sunblock. <laughs> I have a little travel size in my suitcase and that's it. <laughs> but in her area and because of her hobby, she has that out. So, you know, take a step back. Sometimes we get so bogged down i think especially with um if you're surrounded by people who are in that mindset where they're repeating nobody's buying nobody's shopping nobody needs and i, I found this year i really had to fight to get out of that like crab barrel because everybody wanted to tell me what other people are doing and i really needed to fight to separate myself from that to say okay well people are going to shop because they need stuff and i'm selling products that people need so i need to find those people and you know pair my what i have with what they need and that's how sales happen we're not you know pushing products on people we have what people need you know so take a step back and really think about what what businesses and what organizations um, you can partner with um, who in your community, who in your social group, you know, reach out to your customers, start talking to your customers and say, hey, you know, I'd love to do some Facebook parties. Do you know of anybody who I could partner with? They might say, hey, me. <laughs> or they might say, wait, you know, who do I know? <laughs> so that's something. I can share um, some of the giveaway, uh, the giveaways that, that were duplicatable. And I to share my number one favorite, I know. I know. <laughs> the A box. <laughs> um, yes, and it has so many products in there. So that is a great idea to use the A box as a way to um, give your whole, you know, your hostesses gifts for hosting your party. And, um, you know, I love that at these parties, everybody has their own friends. So right. you're basically grabbing their friends. And, and yes, I that love is that. That's the name of the game. Like when you're reaching out, when you partner with the business, you're sharing your products, you're rewarding their their customers with your products you know you whether you're giving sample packs or you're doing a raffle you're helping that business create community within their customer base because those customers are going to benefit from what you have to share when you're sharing with a friend or family member 
they're going to get a gift for hosting a party, but you're going to be introduced to their friends and family that you normally wouldn't have met otherwise. But you're also, again, providing, you know, an activity. They're going to be able to participate in the raffles and earn great prizes or get, you know, great discounts. So it's a win-win situation. And I always feel that um, there's a, a mindset, give, give, get. And I, I prescribe to that. I feel I believe that the more you give, the more it'll come back to you. It may not come back from that particular person, but it's going to come back from somewhere else. Yeah. So I always try to think of what value can I provide to this business or this customer that is hosting a party for me or this other business that I can partner with. I'm not in it to say, OK, well, you know what, you know, how can how, how what's the most that I can sell? You know, I want to make sure that. I do want to make sure that I sell a lot and I do want to make sure that I have earnings from this party, but I also approach it like, okay, you have a business, you are serving, seeing this type of person. I have something that I think can help them. And whenever I start the conversation, I, I try not to start as, Hey, can I come and set up in front of your business? Uh, or, you know, Hey, can you do me a favor? I, I need help. <laughs> I, I <laughs> I'm a lot of yeah, the words you use are really important because I'm a business. I'm not looking for a handout. I'm looking to provide a service for someone. So I, I ask, you know, hey, who do you know that could benefit from Avon products? Or, hey, I would love to do an event for your customers. Or, oh my gosh, you know, if it's a store or a company that I work with, I would say, you know what? I really love your customer service. Or, you know, I'm a, a huge fan of your product. I, I have a product, I have a business, and I would love to um, share my business with your customers and reward them for the holidays, give back for the holidays, or I would love to come and set up an event where I could do some raffles and giveaways for your, your for you and your employees and your customers. You know, how about this Saturday? Can I come and, you know, schedule an event, like a, a customer appreciation event for you and your, your I customers? Love that. I yeah. love that. Doesn't that sound so much better than, hey, yeah. Get a handout. It's, you sound like you need me, so let me help you. <laughs> right. And, you know, people love being complimented. People love being rewarded. So be mindful. Hey, Miss Alice, be mindful of the words that you're using. You know, don't be scammy about it. And, you know, don't use the right words just so that you can be scammy about it later. Be genuine in what you're doing because your reputation will precede you. You know that this reminds me, um, we used to do um, weekly events at um, the, well, the Best Western Hotel. It's, we mm -hmm. have the Best Western Hotels here, and they allowed us to actually go and set up and bring, um, yes, products to demonstrate. And, um, you know, we had a time where all the employees would take the break, mm -hmm. and they were right there set up once a week. And it was usually uh, the day after their payday, so they have money. Nice. <laughs> and as, as we started doing these events, then it got larger and, and the sales got bigger because they already brought, you know, they were placing orders, they were buying our products, they brought more cash to mm -hmm. spend. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I, I really recommend that you also reach out to the local um, hotels, it doesn't have to be a, a big, like a huge hotel. Just start with something small. And um, and like you said, uh, customer appreciation, that is that is on point. Yeah. You're, you know, we're usually willing to give away products and samples anyway. So even if you don't have samples to give away to every person, you can always do a, like a raffle giveaway where everybody enters and maybe one to five people win a prize so you can you know mix it up according to your budget but um the keys i think are you know especially now a lot of businesses are struggling with how to get in and get their business in front of customers mm -hmm. you have a customer base you have your existing avon customers how great is it and i do this when i'm doing events i, I like to do events in restaurants a because i like to eat but <laughs> <laughs> B because <Really? laughs> it's the truth. Wait, wait, full transparency here, right? <laughs> but B because when I have an event in this location, they'll provide the food and the drinks. All I have to worry about bringing is the product. I've done events, you know, um, 
in offices and then I have to carry the snacks, I have to carry the Avon. Sometimes there's a whole other bag full of food. So that's one less bag that I have to carry. But um, mm -hmm. I like to have it in restaurants and I, I usually will say, you know, I would love to, can I, um, like I have um, some customers that I wanted to have an event for. Can I have it here in your restaurant? And I would love for you and your employees, you know, they're more than welcome to join us because now it's like, I'm inviting you. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm asking for permission to have this event here, but I'm also inviting you to <laughs> so my event. But I would love for you and your employees to come join me and my customers. And I would love to bring my customers to um, share your food with them. Um, can we use mm -hmm. the section of your restaurant or whatever? When my customers come there, they're now getting the opportunity to um, share their food with customers that normally maybe didn't know about their restaurant. Um, so they're getting a larger customer base. A lot of the times, once we have an event there, if my if my customers or whoever's coming there enjoys the food, we will be back. Whether it's for our team meetings or other get together. So they, most businesses, if they're forward thinking, will notice that and say, yeah, you can have whatever you want here. I, I even had a place put together like a sample platter. I was like, you know, they 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 came up with the idea because I, I i approached them as i would love to have my guests come and introduce my friends to your business so i, I want to have an avon party here so that they can learn about your restaurant and the restaurant was like can we put together a sample platter i was like can you <laughs> yes that is a great idea <laughs> so they put together like a little um not like a cheese board but like a little um sample platter of yeah. different foods that they had but i didn't have to pay for it but they yeah. recognize the opportunity to introduce the business to, you know, new customers. So for them, it was they were showing their business, and for me, I had a spot to have my Avon event. I'm a, I'm gonna start using your words. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have you gotta take a step at back and you approach things from that business mindset. You're not begging. Yeah. Yes, I love it. What a great, great, and I hope all of you are taking notes. Because this is, yes, this is something that you can use all year round as things start getting better. We're going to get out there even more. Um, if you're not, if you're, um, you know, sn snowed out like uh, Georgiana program, your indoor events. If you're not able to get out because your city is closed, then start reaching out virtually. Yeah. It's, it's almost the same concept. You just have to get used to the fact that um, you know it's it's you're gonna work the business a little different. Maybe instead of locations, you're doing it on a business's Facebook page because a lot of businesses are are looking for ways to engage their customers. You know, keep as a business, you want to make sure that you're at the forefront of your customers' mind. So a lot of businesses, especially those that were only um, like belly to belly in a physical location, they are kind of struggling with this transition into online. So if you could approach them with an idea and say, hey, you know, I loved using your service back in the day when we could still go out. And I would love to partner with you to create an online event. You know, you can invite your customers. You can even host it on your own page because now location really isn't a matter. But you can invite your favorite business and say, hey, it's business appreciation day or whatever. I want you to invite your customers to my Facebook page. We're going to have a giveaway just for your customers. You know, be creative with it. But um, being that it's online, it opens the doors to do a lot more. Um, Andrea on my team, she's been doing some really great Facebook parties. And um, she started off with family, but now she's grown. And she's doing the parties with the friends of her initial family members. So now she's beginning to see that momentum where she's being introduced to people that she wouldn't have known or you know, new customers that are friends of a friend of a friend of a friend. So she's, you know, she's made a plan for herself every week. She wants to have a party going. So she's been working on that consistently and she's starting to see the business grow. Great job, Andrea. That's a great testimony, a great share. Yes, I'm, I love everything we shared today. Um, and uh, one last thing that I want to mention that if you are able to set up um, to sell your baskets you're at the last minute or maybe bundle up some products or maybe just you know, set up different products. Don't don't try to be too technical. Don't try to overthink it. <laughs> Just get your, <laughs> get your inventory out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I hear that I, I hear that a lot because um 
you know, they say, oh, but I don't, I, um, I had to buy business cards. Oh, I had to buy books. Oh, I don't have inventory. You know, this, this applies to everybody. If you have inventory and you're able to set up, just get rid of your inventory, start the year fresh. If you don't have an inventory, then use you know, <laughs> whatever you have, but get out there and network because people are looking for your products and your opportunity. And right now, everybody needs a uh, savings on their personal orders, and you can invite them to join the business for free. Or they, like I said, I always say, I want to offer people the opportunity to start to have a business for the next year because if they have a business they have um an opportunity and like i always say who knows what's gonna happen 2020 showed us that <laughs> that and, and that's interesting i think Two, the conversations are going to be a lot different moving forward because I remember being out in the field talking to people about their plan B and it was, oh, you know, I like my job. I'm secure. I don't have to worry. I get great tips. Yeah. People or, are that plan B now. Or like my husband works and he doesn't need my income. I'm good at home taking care of the kids. You know, me, yes. And, and, you know, I always like, look at you, Georgiana. You never imagined that you would be so successful with, no. yeah, right? You know why? Because you tell me my, you tell me your story and I believe it because I have no hope for me either. Right. When you first get started, your mind is like, okay, I have this one little goal that I want to accomplish. And if you're yeah. serious about it and you take it and run with it, all of a sudden, like I always have this conversation with my mom, like the doors just open up the possibilities. This year alone, I said, I was like, look, my biggest aha moment for 2020 is that I don't need to live in the city. I don't need to be within a certain distance of Manhattan because that's where I work. All of a sudden it's like, I work online. I can live anywhere. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's such a great feeling, right? Yeah. Like, wait, wait, uh, like if, if I could live anywhere in the world, where would I want to live? All of a sudden, that's a possibility. Uh, it's a reality. And I'm like, uh, yes, my income needs to affect that as well. But just to even be able to think on that level, I never considered, I always thought I'd need to live within 30 minutes to an hour of the city. <laughs> you have a big point. That is a great, great point. So yeah, you never know. Offer the business opportunity to everyone you see because um, you never know. People, and believe believe me, if you have this mentality, and um, if you ask people, do you have a business? And they tell you no, they ask them, how would uh, a new business benefit you for 2021? Yeah. You know? Um, conversations. Yeah. And, and have people tell you, you know, ask the who, how, when, why um, questions and, you know, wait for an answer and, and uh, people will tell you what's important to them. Yeah. And for me, I feel like having that plan B opens up so many new, I love that you say opportunities because it really is that plan b that side mm -hmm. hustle that other business it really is an opportunity because it's going to allow you to do things even for me like back in the day it was that you know that was my movie money my gadget money i love tech and computers but i could use my my income from avon to buy that extra stuff for those of you who love clothes and fashion i love the story of miss Cynthia who joins to she started her avon business to support her shoe habit <laughs> so that opportunity, you know, it's sometimes people get into it like, oh, it's a business. You know, it's so much pressure. There is pressure involved because there is a business, but it opens up a, a whole other world. You know, you don't, for me, what, what, another thing that was huge was not having to worry about losing my job because I knew there was something else that I could fall back on. And you have those moments when you're in your office and you're looking around and you're like, there is no work. They're not going to keep me here much longer. You know, you're counting the days <laughs> before you're like, I'm. Gonna 
I am, you know, when you're, when you're, you know, when you're looking for work at your job, trying to keep yourself busy, like there's no work <laughs> and your, your, your coworkers are in a panic and you're kind of just like, I need to step up my Avon because in a week or two, I'm not going to be here any longer. <laughs> yes, it, it, it's different. It, it takes a disciplined person also. I, I have seen many, many of my representatives um, who, who would say, uh, when I when I quit my job or when I leave from my job, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do so well. I'm gonna do Avon full time, and then that happens. And uh, and uh, what happened to you? And they just you know you just have to have the discipline like anything. The, the same discipline you have to get up and go to work is the same discipline that you have to have to keep your business going every day. Even a little bit more, because then your family starts like, you're home, help me with the groceries. And it's like, um, I'm working. <laughs> or or take me here, come, you know, come yeah, here. You become everyone's personal chauffeur, and you're just like, I, I have a job. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, we care a lot today. Great tips. Yes, yeah. thank you for sharing, Millie. We always tr we're trying to keep it thirty minutes because we don't want to. Yes, we don't. <laughs> we don't want to keep you for too long. So, but we're a little bit past, and that's okay. At least we're not over an hour. <laughs> which yeah, we're trying, so guys. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you thank you so much for joining us and your Gina, for sharing all your ideas i love everything that we share here so i'm planning to take some of your ideas and i'm putting them together and changing my words <laughs> with your words so i can get free food at the restaurant <laughs> i'll let you know if i'm lucky okay <laughs> Yeah, there's some gems. There are a couple of nuggets out there still. <laughs> Check out the, to be honest, I think it's like the old school businesses who understand, you know, it, 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 I look for the older business owners like, hey, grandpa, grandma. Mm, I love that. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Vicky, Leola, Alice, for hanging in there with us and um, chatting with us. I guess we'll see you guys next week, Thursday. I'm gonna have to let you guys know because I'm not sure if I'm still gonna have internet. We're gonna be in transition next week. <laughs> so, oh, yes. Stay oh, tuned. Yes. It will be a happy one. But, yes, uh, transition. Just yes. uncertain. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll announce it here. So subscribe to uh, the page and like the page and follow the videos. That way you'll know exactly when we're gonna be live, and so you can interact with us. Um, if it's not possible next week, then we'll let you know for sure when we will be back in business with yeah. our Thursday with Jordana. <laughs> we'll figure something out, but <laughs> all right, everybody, have a great week. Bye, Thank Bye guys. Bye.